Good evening, everybody. This is Katya with Radio UTD, and I'm here with Sabrina Fuentes. Hello, Sabrina Fuentes. Ava. Ava. What about you? And what from else? Pretty Sick. All right, we're here with Pretty Sick in the wonderful city of Denton, Texas, at their sold out show today on November 12th, 2022. So, Sabrina, is this your first tour in Texas? Yeah, this is our first tour in Texas. All right. So how has tour been for y'all so far? We've been loving it. It's been warm. It's been cold. Orazio bought a really cool new guitar. Okay. We had some good Thai food, some good pho. She asked about Texas. Oh, just Texas. Yeah, she said Texas, not America. But yeah, Texas has been great. Okay. What has your favorite city been in Texas so far? I don't know. Austin was pretty fire. Austin was, Delta was cool, but we've been here like five hours or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so like I mean, I've just been to, what's it called, Recycled store. Okay. And uh, I bought a few things. And I recommend the place, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. And, yeah, speaking of, again, Texas, what was your favorite stop here? Did you guys go to Bucky's? Not yet. We're going to Bucky's probably tomorrow okay. on our way to... North Carolina. I mean, probably the guitar store in Austin for me. That was great. That was great. We also went to um, Lucy in Disguise and I bought some tights and some earrings. So that was cool. Yes. Speaking of your tights, you have amazing style. During this tour, you've been dressing so nice. So my question to you is, do you have a specific style icon? No. Hell yeah. Yeah, I feel like I mostly just dress like like what I think cartoon characters would dress like. I like Debbie Harry and I like Bjork. Nice, nice. Um, and I like PJ Harvey and Chloe Sevigny, but I wouldn't say I have like one style icon in particular. I think I take inspiration from a lot of different things. And I, I try to wear like clothes from lots of different eras together so it doesn't just look like nostalgia core 90s Very copycat good. outfits. Thank God. <laughs> So, you said that you want to dress like a cartoon character, somewhat. Mm. What is your favorite cartoon? And if you could live in a certain cartoon universe, which would it be? Mm, My favorite cartoon is probably Downtown, which is about New York in like the early 2000s and late 90s. But I feel like I already lived there. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So, if I could live in any other cartoon, I'd probably live in the X-Men Evolution cartoon. Or would you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) They're all a little. Yeah, they all (laughs) seem stressful. Maybe like Adventure Time with Evil. It's a little. But there's evil there too. Uh, uh, I don't know. Jesus. (laughs) Any car? I'll take any cartoon world. Oh my god, no, 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 no. We just watched that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's such a Doomer anime to watch on the road. Yeah, it's really Doomer. We have our fun. We have our, yeah. Do y'all relate to any of the characters the most? I like Asuka. Asuka, cool. yeah. yeah. She she has blue hair. Yeah. yeah. Ava has oh, blue oh, hair, okay, and so I like, have anger issues, so oh, I guess okay. that makes you Shinji Aratio. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Uh, Nice. Okay. So you also talk about um, living in the U.S. and New York and everything. But I do know that you recently graduated from a university in the U.K. So congratulations on that because it is such a difficult feat to graduate right now, especially from school. But all I want to do is ask, do you have any tips for university students now? And do you have any regrets from college in regards of doing things, do you wish you got to do anything before you graduated? I guess my tip would be to use, like, the facilities that your schools have as much as possible because, like, at the end of the day, that's, like, what you're paying for. (laughs) And talk to your professors as much as possible and, like, you know, find teachers that you like and that you actually get along with and can use as mentors. I wish I'd join more clubs. Like a month or two before I graduated, me and my friend Josie both realized that there was a cheerleading team at our university that we didn't join. And I really, in hindsight, regret that a lot. That's so cool. What kind of kid were you in high school? I didn't go to school that much. I worked part-time 
during school and full time in the summers. Oh my god! And all most of my friends were adults until I was like seventeen. I feel you so much. And then I became friends with more <laughs> teenagers that were a bit older than me, but still, and like people, I guess kids that were like kind of closer to my age, but still not really my age. And then, yeah, I don't know. Most of my friends were adults. I feel you. No. Yeah, yeah. You didn't feel like high school necessarily held you you didn't really identify with that kind of life there you just did you want to just graduate and go yeah 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 definitely I feel that so other than that so obviously you were in the UK and now that you're in the US is there anything you miss about the UK that the US doesn't offer or <laughs> mm, I mean right now it's hard to say because all of my friends keep telling me to enjoy the weather while we're here because it's yeah. really cold and wet in mm -hmm. London already and we were just in 80 degrees sunny Austin which was really nice. I mostly just miss my friends and my apartment and like the routine of just hanging out and I miss cooking at home so much. I really love cooking and I you can't do that in a van obviously. So yeah. Yeah, just like the little things, but it's been awesome traveling. I love being on the road and I love touring. Yeah. And these guys are easy to travel with. Oh, so. That's so good to hear. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? Soup. Soup, yeah. I'm a soup person. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, most, I honestly mostly <laughs> eat soup and pasta and... Got your paper? Shakshuka. Uh, yeah, I'm oh making shakshuka. Oh, so good shakshuka. Yeah. I make really good salmon, like a miso glazed okay. salmon. Okay. I make really good udon. Okay. Yeah, I can make really fire that salads. Ones have the chickpea ones, yeah. yeah, I make the I make the sweet green tortilla chip lime <laughs> salad that they make. That that bangs because they don't have sweet green in England, so everyone oh, thinks I'm really original. It's okay. They also don't have Mexican food, so they have I no know, idea why that's it tastes crazy. so good. It's because the, their food doesn't taste oh. good. That's why it tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good food, food that tastes good. That's yeah, so blows them away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a quite a bit of a shortage of um, ethnic ingredients in the UK. It's impossible. I had to ask the local international grocer to order Goya products because they didn't no stock them. No way. And then like they got them in like a year later. <laughs> yeah, do they have avocados even? Cause they I, have. They have. Okay. Avocados. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God. So. Okay, well, we got the UK. You're a great cook, which is so good because on tour you have to be so resourceful. What is your favorite thing that you've eaten on tour so far? I don't know. That we what? That we've eaten on tour so far? I mean, we ate at the diner from Twin Peaks. That was nice. And it was yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Really good. Did y'all get pie? Yeah, we got pie. Hell yeah. And we got the coffee, damn good coffee. Mm -hmm. Damn fun cup coffee. Damn fun. <laughs> Damn good fine cup coffee. That good five cups, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that was probably my favorite meal, just because. Was... We've been to Sonora Town, the nice burritos. Oh, that was the best really good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Sonora that Town in LA was really good. good. Honestly, the Thai food I had here in Denton just a second ago was good. Really? What did you yeah. get? I got food from Thai Square and I got oh, Thai soup. basil soup, but it's too yeah. small. And I'm still hungry, but that's okay. It was really good. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely have eaten a bunch of food. Yeah, we've eaten a lot of food. We've been eating a lot. It's hard to keep track. I feel like we've been eating mostly Mexican food. Yeah, well, yeah. because you just can't get it in the UK, so yeah, I'm you just really can't. maxing it out. You, yeah, you here. just gotta load it up yeah. while you can. It's not even really that good in New York. It tastes way better over here. It's way better over here. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I guess Sonora Town was twenty weeks. Yeah, those are my favorite. Yeah. Hell yeah. Love that. All right. Well, on to the music questions, because, you know, this isn't a cooking show, obviously. <laughs> but all right. So you released Makes Me Sick, Makes Me Smile on September 30th of this year. And I congratulate you on dropping a No Skips album. Thank you. It was heat. And obviously, I'd like to ask all y'all, what makes y'all sick and what makes y'all smile? So in other words, what are your pet peeves and what are your favorite things? <laughs> My pet peeve? I can't do like when people chew with their mouths open yeah and really just like something in me like i go like primal or something i hate slow walkers, slow walkers those people really make hard. me f sick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hurry up hurry up uh, I don't know. yeah yeah what, uh, i don't know what makes you sick to your stomach yeah Racists. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say fascism. Fascism. <laughs> nice. okay, well, Bad too, people make me yeah. feel really sick to my stomach. Yeah. yeah really and good people make me smile. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not true. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad people make me sick. And records make me smile. And my friends make me smile. Aww. Aww. Touring Sorry, makes me really smile. That's really cheesy. Touring makes me very smile. Yeah. Yeah, touring makes me smile yeah. too. Fun stuff. Playing shows in Texas makes me smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big time. I guess, yeah. I mean, we do music, so music makes us smile. Yeah. Of course. So, what are y'all's tour sh- essentials? Passport. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm, again, a good shot. I don't really want for much, nor do I need yeah, much in my day to day life besides yeah. food and the company of my good friends here. That's so yeah. good. I have a lot of supplements. Yes, yeah. that is very important. I got some oil of oregano, some colloidal silver. Got um, maca, L-theanine, what's milk thistle. Throat? I got some. Uh, yeah, what's that shit called? What's Honey this? bee throat. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. We got a lot of stuff. Lip gloss. Got a lot of lip gloss. Uh, Twin, a lot of chapstick. Yes, very important. A lot of moisturizer. Okay. My uh, Yoda blanket pillow. We have a lot of stuff Yeah, we have a lot of stuff yes. Oh, yeah, yes. little friends. Yeah, like, little our, our buddies. Goomba. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? I forgot. Goomba, Goomba. Goomba. I have this ramen. You have the yeah. ramen. So you cute. One? And also, yeah, I have Porsche, I a collection too. of hats. Collection of hats. That's you. That's, that's all you. That's, yeah. that's my essentials. Yeah, those are, those are the things we need. Yeah, our stuffed animals. That's it. That's mostly it. Yeah. Love that, love that. All right. We only have a few minutes left, so I'm going to get my last questions in. Y'all have been great. I love interviewing y'all, but obviously back to music. So you've obviously been playing music for quite a bit, and you've already released two studio albums in the past few years. So are there any secrets (laughs) to preventing the dreaded sophomore slump? Just like keep exploring your interests and keep challenging yourself. I think, like, if you're really comfortable in what you're doing and really confident in what you're doing, you're probably not making anything that that's, that's that exciting. So do things that scare you and make you happy, even if it's not necessarily what everybody else wants to hear. And stay true to yourself. Yeah. Are there any dream collaborations you wish to have? It doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Mm, alive or dead there's way too many people I don't know Beethoven <laughs> real <laughs> um, I don't know I like working with so many I mean I, I, I see music as like an inherently collaborative thing so to say that there's like a, a dream person like one dream person I don't know if I could say I just hope to, to collaborate with other amazing musicians like these two people right here these are my dream collaborators. Stop. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Oh, yeah. Us and Beethoven. Damn. Yeah. Tight. That guy. That guy. <laughs> All right. And obviously, y'all are going to perform really soon, probably within the next, like, 20 minutes. So are there any rituals you perform before going on stage? No, they're bad luck. Yeah. yeah. We had one. We, we, we had one and we're not going to do it anymore. We're going to do it again. Yeah, every show we'd play where we did it, it would yeah. totally back And it was really cute, too. So I'm kind of bummed that we don't do it anymore. Yeah. But, but fuck absolutely that. not. Fuck absolutely that not. I yeah. did not <laughs> so know that. So nothing is the answer. Yeah. Y'all do don't want to jinx anything. Nah. Real. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. And obviously, I'm going to end this with um, since the holidays are coming up. Is there anything y'all are looking forward to during the holidays? It's chilling for me. We've been on tour for a little bit. Yeah. So I just kind of yeah. want to hang out with my family and stuff. Yeah, worshiping Christ and stuff. Worshiping. <laughs> yeah, that's number one, obviously. That's always my family's number one like for right us. down there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah. All right. That's all. All right. This Thanks is, for having us. Thank you, you for having me. This is Katya with Radio UTD, and I'm here with. Pretty sick. Pretty sick! Hell yeah. <laughs> it was an honor and pleasure to interview all y'all this Thanks. evening. Yeah. Thank you.